Hello, are you ready? We're traveling. We're going to Austin, Texas today. I've got all my nephews and nieces and my sisters and my mom and we are gonna have a wonderful Christmas. I talk a lot about obesity on my main channel, but I also like to give you guys examples of how I live my life as an ex-binger. As many people know who struggle with ED, it's never going to go away. You always have those thoughts and I am the opposite of the not eat. I am the one that wants to eat everything at all time, make myself sick, throw up, and then eat some more. I love eating. I love feeling full. I even love making myself feel sick, but I'm all about controlling it and also still eating the food that I like, but in moderation. But if you're a binger, a sugar addict, a food addict, whatever you want to call it, you know that going out of your safe space, your house into someone else's house is a whole different experience. So come with me as I show you how I do that. I pretty much have it down now for the most part and I would love to share it with you. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more laid back videos like this where we just chill, we go shopping, I show you the foods, I even show you the dirty foods that I eat, like the ones that are full of sugar and how I portion it out and make sure I don't overdo it. You know what, sometimes I will overdo it. So if that's something that you are interested in, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment saying, I like food or emoji. I don't know, just leave me a comment please because it helps the algorithm it helps the algorithm. All right, we gotta catch our flight. And I usually take Southwest, but this time I'm taking Delta. The seats are bigger to fit these butt cheeks. Delta was a huge upgrade from Southwest. The seats were bigger, they had TVs, and they fed me very gross food. I ate the cheese and the croissant. The first thing I do when I get to Texas is say hi to the dogs. Elderly baby Link was very excited to see me again. Oh, oh God, okay. And of course, the second thing I do is go grocery shopping so I don't binge on the various foods my mom has at her house. H-E-B actually has a food prep service and seeing how I don't really want to cook on vacation, that's what I usually go for, the bulk of my meals. And of course, the puppy, Toast, was very interested in my shrimp and noodles. After dinner, we met up with my nephews and nieces to play some games and I schooled them. <laughs> Just kidding, he won. Somehow in the little jungle gym, we acquired a bunch of children in our group and they asked what school I went to and I said the school of adults and they all said I looked like a gymnast and well, I'm pretty much their sensei now. <laughs> Okay, cheater. Oh god, it's a car hour. <laughs> okay. recumbent bike, but she also has what she can't do because I have a herniated disc, so sitting like that, it's not gonna work. Anyway, but she does have a treadmill and running and walking and sprinting does not hurt my back. And I've got TV right there and look what she did. She has this cake. Why is this in the media room? So they can just sit here <laughs> and freaking eat cake. Surprisingly, I watched a movie in here by myself yesterday. Nobody watching. If I wanted to eat this cake, I could have and I hadn't had any. That's not me, that's them. So. I mean, your girl's pretty strong. <laughs> I think it's okay to be on the floor because I saw my dog, my sister's two freaking big dogs slobbering all over the place. So I think my mom's gonna be okay with a little sweat. What? Michelle, what are you doing? And we're in the kitchen on the hard floor, which might be better for this because then we can really dig into our glutes. And I washed my face and everything because I just can't stand the feeling of dried up sweat on my face and then shower since I'm all over the floor. Anyway, so I had a really good workout and my mom's treadmill made me realize that I need to get a different, I mean, I guess I don't need to, I just really want to get a different treadmill because on my treadmill, my seven miles per hour feels like a five. And seven's like my jog, five is like my, really slow, like slow warm-up jog, the warm-up before the warm-up. And uh, my 10 feels like a seven on my treadmill. Her seven feels like a seven and her 10 feels like a 10, so I was dying. But they go up pretty high and I like those like 10, 15 second bursts that 
really get the fast twitch muscles and really get your heart pumping. So I think I might buy myself a new treadmill. I really need one and I've been saying that for years and I still just hop on my slow ass treadmill. But yeah, I think I need a new one. And then it also made me realize because I said I never feel my back when I run. I only feel it if I spin or sit too long. Running, I've never felt it, but I felt it this time. And why did I feel it? What did I do that's so different than any other day? I pretty much sat all day yesterday. And then when I got here, I was sleepy, took a nap, and then I finished editing a video and I sat. These butt cheeks never touch the floor, ever. That's how hardcore I am. No, I'm just kidding. You know how I got a herniated disc? Because I was sitting too much, because I was editing a lot. I don't buy expensive things. I like decked out my comforting office so I can have a nice environment to edit. And my desk was very expensive and my chair was very expensive and I don't use it like at all. Because apparently if you sit too much, you can herniate your disc. Anyway, so through my run, I had to stop about twice uh, just safely because I did feel it. And if I feel it, then okay, let's figure this out instead of uh, just working through it like my coaches would have me do when I would get injured So I would just rub my glutes out in a way and right when I started rubbing it out because I didn't do this yesterday at all And right when I started rubbing out my glutes You could feel everything just loosen up and then I could continue my run And I only did it once after I felt it and then I did it again before my really fast sprints just to make sure and I didn't feel anything at all So you should get one of these They're, I can't remember the price, but I got it at Walmart and it really helped me so any part that really hurts, like right here, this is really hurting. You can't see my face right now, but it's, it looks like this. And I'll just dig into it until it starts loosening up and then I'll feel better. Like it hurts for about 20 seconds. But then if you just breathe through it, it feels better. So back at home, I was rubbing my glutes out with this when Garrett was in the room. And I just asked him, what do I look like? when I'm doing this, because I do it when I was going to the gym. I go to the gym during summer when I can't work out in my garage. And he was like, kind of looks like you're just rubbing your butt cheeks on the floor. I'm like, huh, interesting. Because I always wonder, what do, how am I perceived to other people? Like, what do people see when they look at me? And I just, <laughs> and so I was always just wondering, what do I look stupid? And he's kind of like, oh, it looks like you're rubbing your butt cheeks on the floor because my butt engulfs this thing. Yeah, it does. Now that I'm looking at it, it does kind of engulf the whole thing. So I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got my niece. And it's so easy to shop for a girl. I'm so, I was way too excited to buy these things for my niece. Or was I just the perfect amount of excitement? Two things. My, uh, my niece is Latina, so I found this. And it's not a Barbie. It's a different brand called Latina Stas. Latin... It's a Latina brand of dolls. And so, first of all, she's really thick. She has abs. She's got thicker legs. She's got thicker arms. She looks like she has, she's muscular. I want to keep it for myself, but also that'd be kind of selfish at the same time. So she's Latina, but she's like black Latina. So I got her this other brand that is called the Fresh Doll. And I just kind of like that they're a lot thicker. I'm not in love with her face very much. Her face is a little, mm, I just want to like erase it and change it a bit, but I don't think, I mean, she's not, she's not going to know. She's just going to see a cute doll. I texted my sister and asked, what does she like? Because I don't know. And she said specifically Monster High Doll. So one, I saw this yesterday and I just picked it up. I don't have this one at home and I'm very tempted to keep it for myself. So I'm still on the fence of should I give this to her because I got her Claudine Winter Edition. And so she's a very special doll. So I was showing my mom and she has played with Samantha before. And so I showed her this and she's like, oh, that's so pretty. And she cringes back, she's like, you're gonna give that to Samantha? Samantha, the one that she plays with her dolls. And I'm like, yeah, I don't mind her messing it up. My mom was like, she's she's gonna play like hard. Like she's gonna get messy. She's not gonna look like this once she gets through with her. And I'm like, that's fine. I think because when I was younger, sometimes my dad would get me toys and he was like, you can't play with it. Like he just rip it away from me. I'm like, you can't play with it. It's gonna stay nice and fresh. All right, let's go play with the dogs because I'm dirty right now. I didn't take my shower yet and I don't like to get dirty through the day. So. All right, dogs, now's the time to rub all over me if you want to play. <laughs> come here, Ling. You can come over here. Come here. You can come here, old man. Uh, okay. Oh. Come away from my camera. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Got you. Okay. Got you. Oh, he did so tall. So 
this is the post-workout meal. It's just noodles and chicken from the meal prep company from H-E-B. Did I say that right? I think it's H-E-B, right? You guys call it over here, Texan peeps. And then I've got a bowl of apples. I'll usually eat half of this because the apples are ginormous. And then water. And I already had two glasses of that before I ate to make sure I'm hydrated after my workout because I was... What? <laughs> anyway, that's my meal post-workout. And then I'm going to probably stretch a little bit more and then edit. You're getting mighty close there, Toast. No. Keisha, what are your shoes? <laughs> She's comfortable. Why? Why wear these? Keisha was like, I'm just gonna replace them when they start falling apart. They are falling apart. <laughs> they bothered me so much. I'm so triggered whenever I see them. So now they're fighting in the kitchen because I noticed that they got cake all over the remote control. If I did this when I was younger, I would be in so much trouble. But for some reason, now she just allows cake on the remote control. Gosh, that is Keisha. So I accidentally bought the carb conscious Kodiak cakes. I usually like Kodiak cakes, but oh my God, it is a huge difference of what I am used to and I can't finish it. It's so hard to cut into. It is like the work, like look at, that's not how pancakes cut, listen to it. That's not a pancake. So I got a few comments because I got a lot of comments when I said I kept Kodiak cakes and someone wanted to try it and they didn't. A lot of people liked it. But then I got those occasional comments saying, Michelle, those pancakes were disgusting. They cut weird. They had a weird texture. I don't know if you guys got the carb conscious freaking ones because yeah, these, I can't finish these. Sorry, my voice is all groggy because I just woke up, but I got the regular Kodiak cakes. Those are good. If anyone's saying that these are dry or like taste weird, you're probably doing something wrong. And that's pretty bad because you just literally add water. My sister's youngest dog likes to run. So I took him on a morning 2.5 mile jog. There was this rock with little gnomes in them. I just thought it was interesting and adorable. After I ran with toast, I walked on the treadmill while I watched TV. You guys always ask if I have trouble eating a certain way when I'm away from home, but it's pretty easy, especially at my mom's house. If you have a kitchen and for me, because I just kind of buy basic and I eat basic and that's what I get. And that's pretty much it. So also when before like Garrett came on into the picture, I ate pretty basic too. And that was really easy. And that's like the biggest tip that I got from someone that lost a lot of weight is like they keep pretty much everything basic and sometimes spice it up. Like on the weekend, we do that at home. I eat pretty much rice, chicken and a fruit, you know, like a protein, a complex carb, and then a fruit and a lot of water through the week. It's really simple. I'm not in the kitchen forever. And then on the weekend is when me and Garrett go a little crazy and get crumble because I have to have crumble on Fridays. I already showed you guys what I got my niece, but I already started wrapping everything and I forgot to show you guys what I got for my older nephew. And he wants to be a TikTok star. I think he already has a following. I'm not too sure, but this boy tried to ask me for a phone and keep in mind, he doesn't speak English fluently yet, but he was working hard to make sure I understood because I asked him what he wanted for Christmas and he was trying to work hard to make sure I understood he wants the new iPhone. And I said, absolutely not. But I did get him ring light, an accessory to hold his phone up and then the tripod. So he should be able to TikTok right on up with his old phone and his new accessories. I got little party bags for them because I think that's just cute. I don't know, when I was little, I would have loved to get a party bag with slime and whatever these things are and candies. And I know the girl likes stickers, so I got little stickers for her. And then <laughs> my smallest nephew is really small. I have no clue if he's gonna like this, but I know Coco Melon's super popular with the tiny children. And it looks, like, I just saw this character. It looks like my nephew. I got these games, no clue what this is. I just think it's cute. I had to find games that were easy to communicate because my nephews and nieces don't speak once again, English fluently. But this is pretty easy to explain, I think, uh, with my limited amount of Spanish. And then we're going to decorate these cookies. My sister said they're gonna try to eat it. And I said, well, oh, that'll be fine. I ain't there, mama, but that'll be fun. And then I got this really old school game, Troubled, which I think will count up to six in Spanish. I caught my mom watching Ludacris's new Christmas movie and me and Garrett watched it earlier this week. It was, it was a Christmas movie, but my mom, I couldn't get on tape. She was laughing way too hard at this movie. It was so funny to hear her from the other room. Later that night, my mom was making the cheesecake that I always talked about that I binged on years ago where I ate half and then threw up and then ate the rest.
First this morning and here's my breakfast. For some reason, whenever I make pancakes anywhere else but my house, I just can't make them. They always turn out weird. Anyway, my mom's cheesecake is under there. I guess she finished it. It's already about 10 o'clock and by this time, when I talked about my binge last time, I was already eating a lot. I'm gonna have my protein pancake and then I'm gonna go just walk on the treadmill and if I feel like running, then I'm gonna run. So I did a small, slow hour walk. I didn't wanna do a hard workout on Christmas day because if I work out a lot, then I get hungrier and I used to binge that way because I would justify the calories I burned with a tons of food. So I figured a nice little slow walk and then play with the dogs. Merry Christmas, Lee! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ow! Ooh. Well, my mom and sister cook, all I have to do is sit here and talk about whatever I wanna talk about. But yeah, for some reason my sister puts butter under the, is this normal? Yes! This is normal. It tastes really good, yes. You put butter under, under the skin. Yes, under the skin. Is yeah. that an hour thing or a normal thing? A no, it's a normal thing. It keep, it, it, that's how the chicken, the, that's how the turkey breast gets moist, Michelle. My mom ended up making quiche and I haven't had quiche in forever. It's not my favorite food, but oh my God, this was really good. I had a slice of that bad boy, but I paired it with a protein shake so I don't overdo it before Christmas dinner. And my day turns into a huge binge day rather than just a little fun day with treats here and there. So before my Colombian family came over, I made sure to download some Latin Christmas music. So hopefully it makes them feel more at home. And of course I'm not doing all the singing. It was extremely fun to hang out with everyone during Christmas. And it was even more enjoyable watching the kids open their presents. My nieces and nephews eyes lit up with every gift. My nephew, the future TikTok star, was so excited for his new accessories and his eyes really lit up when I got him his soccer ball. And my niece was extremely excited about the Latina doll and, and even more excited for that Monster High doll. Oh, and I got my sister three pairs of shoes because I was tired of seeing her freaking toes. Surprisingly, I had one plate of Christmas dinner and was done. I used to go back for seconds and thirds if I would do hours of cardio all day before Christmas dinner. As for the cheesecake, I actually had one slice. I was a little nervous to face the cheesecake again, but y'all, I made it. So my plan of light cardio, staying hydrated and eating protein really works well for me. First of all, all I ever watched now are doll videos. I feel like I'm over into them. And second, I just wanted to show you, I've passed by through here so many times and we didn't eat all that cake. My mom gave it to my sister, but I passed through this so many times and I haven't had any. I didn't have one slice of cake yet. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna have it. I might. But before, I would not be able to even pass by a piece of cake or anything with sugar. It would literally draw me in and I would have to. But the fact that this was in front of the TV and in here, in here where I pass by back and forth throughout the day is just really exciting to me. It's kind of nice. Like to you, it's probably not a big deal. And you're probably like, oh, you're used to this by now. But to me, it's interesting to just look back to what I used to be and notice how far I've come. So, you know, I'm just kind of taking this hand and patting myself on the back that you can't see right now. The interesting thing is I don't even want it. Like before, because you have to really listen to your body, right? Like I'm hungry right now. I'm definitely hungry, not starving, but I have hunger. But before I think I would confuse my hunger and I would just get anything. And I know now that I'm educated on this, that this is not gonna fill me up. And so I crave something that will actually solve my hunger problem, not something that will give me a quick fix for about 20 seconds and then I'm back in the kitchen again. I am having leftovers though, because when do I ever get to eat this food? So I'm gonna have it for a second time. I'm still surprised I had one plate yesterday, but my sister asked, she's like, what do you want? And I said, well, just give me small portions of everything. She literally just makes everything. <laughs> so I thought it was funny that these are the portions. Okay, I keep coming back here. <laughs> thinking of things, but I just realized that I only ate a pancake today. So before I would have used that to justify me just eating this slice of cake because I starved myself, not starved, but I only had one meal so far and therefore I owe myself, owe it to myself to eat the cake. Dinner while I draw my new cosplay that I want to do and while watching Bob's Burgers. Staircase. I had one more slice of cheesecake and just like that, I was back on the plane to get back home on my normal routine, which really wasn't that different from what I did at my mom's house. I find if you don't stray too off course and you still keep some structure, it's pretty easy going back to your normal routine. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope everyone had a great Christmas and has a happy new year. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. And
Christmas, honey. 